Hey, and welcome to Homeschoolology. Today's video is a day in the life or a vlog of our most recent trip to Stone Mountain, Georgia. So if you are new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four, and on this channel I like to talk to you guys about all things secular homeschooling and maybe a little bit about motherhood. adventure was an actual camping trip in Stone Mountain Park which is located outside of Atlanta Georgia it is not a national or state park it is a privately owned park um, and it has a granite mountain basically in the center of it and into that mountain it has this large carving on it and <clears throat> the last time I was there I was probably my oldest daughter's age around 11 or 12 and so this was the first time that I had been back it was my mother's idea to go on this camping trip with as a family and I'm really glad she invited us to go because it, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. My Some of my nieces um, were there, one of my nephews, and then uh, yeah, we just had a really great time. So in this video, I am going to share mostly what we did. We um, had a little outing, a little learning outing where we I made some nature guides for the kiddos and we kind of went on a nature hike and we filled out our nature guides and had some discussion about nature and mostly that's what this video is going to be about but our in general our camping trip was a lot of fun we arrived on Thursday and set up camp and got everything ready luckily we had power and water um, I don't think it would have been as enjoyable without those two things and there was a house like a shower house or a bathhouse where we could use facilities and take showers and do all those things so it was not quite roughing it camping which is my kind of camping I used to when I was a little girl we um, used to actually go camping up in the mountains in Wyoming and that was like real camping like we loaded up the mule with all of our supplies the pack mule with all of our supplies and rode horses up into the mountains and that was roughing it that was uh, quite the adventure super fun as, as I remember that being a child and just absolutely loving when we did that so but since then since my childhood I have not really been on an official real camping trip in quite some time we did do a like backyard camping with some friends a few years back um, I was actually pregnant with my last daughter and my son was an, uh, still a very, very small child, and that experience did not go well. Um, he basically screamed the whole night. My husband ended up sleeping with him in the car, and it just was not the best camping experience. So I was a little hesitant when my mom was like, let's go camping, and I was like, yay. Uh, <laughs> so, but it actually ended up being tons and tons and tons of fun, and we had a great time. The kids loved every second of it. So anyways, Back to Stone Mountain. So I'm attempting for the first time to do a screen capture and talk to you guys on the camera at the same time. So we'll see how this goes. So I've pulled up the Stone Mountain Park website here and this is basically what it is. They do have a light show. We didn't actually make it to the light show this go around and we were kind of sad we missed that but we did get to ride the tram which you can see here and we did get to do the amusement park that they actually have on site let me see if I can find that for you guys so we did this uh, history and uh, nature trail that's right here and it was really beautiful and that's where we did the field guide which I'm going to share with you guys in a minute but they also have a dinosaur exhibit and they have um, a train that you can ride which we did which was a lot of fun they have they're a little amusement park we got to ride the um, summit sky ride which took us up to the top of the mountain and we got to run around on the mountain if you saw my end of year review you actually got a little preview of the kids kiddos running around on top of the mountain up there um, we also did the geyser towers which they have here we also did the mini putt-putt golf we rode the scenic railroad um but mostly we spent a lot of our time at the campsite which was a lot of fun the kids really enjoyed doing the campsite uh, just kind of hanging out there we had little play kitchens for them to fake wash dishes and they had nerf gun battles and just and then they just enjoyed nature just checking out rocks and sticks and 
climbing on things and doing all the things that kids love to do out in nature. So it was a really good time and we enjoyed it. So now I'm gonna switch gears. Oh, the original thing that brought people to Stone Mountain was the carving on the side of the mountain. And this carving was started by the same man who uh, carved Mount Rushmore. He did leave the project pretty early on and it was finished out. And it was actually technically never finished. They had plans to finish out the horses that are on the memorial and they just never did. Um, so it is a Confederate memorial. Um, but we just kind of provided the history of like the carving and how it was carved by, started by the same man that did not Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore and all those kind of things. I remember going to this as a child and looking, getting out of the car and thinking, that's it. That's what we came here to see because it seems so small. And then I remember going into listening to some park ranger tell us that a man can actually stand inside, a six foot tall man can stand inside one of the, or two actually, of the horse's mouths and like from his bottom jaw to the top of his mouth is this six foot tall man. And I was like, wow, that's actually kind of huge on the side of this mountain. And it's actually a little bit taller than Mount Rushmore, which is actually crazy to think about. So yeah, it's a nice big carving. We um, talked to the kiddos a little bit about like the logistics of carving on the side of a mountain and using things like that. There's actually a reflection pond in front of the carving that is actually, they made it exactly the same size as the carving above. So that can kind of give you a really good idea about how big that carving really is up there. And it actually even has some rock that was blown off of the mountain when they were doing the carving. So you can actually see like the drill holes from where they put in the dynamite. And that was really cool. So it was a really fun lesson on like how they carve into big mountains like that. But the big draw now there is the nature that is around. There's tons of trails, lots of um, wonderful biking areas and easy hiking areas and it's a pretty I wouldn't say it's a beginner level it's maybe like an intermediate level hike up to the top of the mountain and my husband and my oldest daughter did do that and she had a love-hate relationship with it but she did it and we were so proud of her she made it all the way to the top and all the way back down again which was really impressive and so we had a lot of fun but now I'm gonna switch over and kind of show you guys like what we did on that nature hike. I previewed a little bit on my Instagram at homeschoolology of the like nature guide that I was putting together. So I'm gonna give you a down view of that in a minute. And then I'm gonna show you some video and talk you through kind of what we did on that little nature hike, which is something that you can do anywhere um, as just a, a day outside. So this is the uh, field guide that I've been talking about that I've uh, created for my kiddos. I'm going to show you my oldest daughter's ones. It has a few more extra pages in it, um, but this is just kind of an example of what my younger, one of my younger kiddos had. They, I left some of the pages out just to make it a little more simple for them. But I'm going to show you my oldest daughter's to give you an idea of everything that I included. So this is a nature journal and unfortunately I have been using this journal for many, many years and I do not see a link to where I got this from. So I am gonna keep looking. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. If you know where this came from, please, please, please let me know down in the comments because I'd love to give credit where credit is due. I love this little journal. It's a fun one, uh, very well done. So. But I attached this here. Nobody chose to take advantage of this, but it's here the next time we go out on a hike or adventure. It's here. So most of what I've included in the rest of this it came from the most recent bundle from For the Love of Learning or For the Love of Homeschool. Um, which I'm, I will link down below and I will in down below in the description I will link um, which specific bundles these ones came from but what I've included is this all about hiking um, kid friendly guide and some hiking uh, responsibility for my older daughter to kind of peruse at her leisure I did not include this in the younger kiddos a they're not really reading at this level and b just I, it was too much information for them so the, but what I did include in everyone's was this tree, leaves and seeds, and plants for foraging, and hiking scavenger hunt, and woodland animal tracks uh, for them to kind of look at things and search for things. And then this came from this website, and I'll link it um, 
in the description box but I've had this for a long time too and it obviously it has more pages but this is what fit on the first page and so we have done this one a lot before we really like doing this one and then the color scavenger hunt which is always been a big hit and basically this one I just um, made a table in Word and then just put a title on it and then I actually colored these in with markers myself. Um, so this is what I've used for a long, long time and all my kiddos really enjoy doing this of all ages. And then I included a bird guide which also came from that uh, bundle for my uh, oldest daughter as well. We, she's starting to get really into birds since we've had a lot of birds trying to nest around our home recently. So that is the field guide. Purple, right? And you picked blue. I got your blue. No, you like Action. Yeah. Well, I have other colors you want. Orange, red. Okay. Huh? You need help? Okay, just a second. Here's your. So the first one is a nature journal, which you can fill out if you want to. But we're gonna find when you guys find a leaf, we can just we can find out what color or what kind of tree it is from this. And there's different kinds of plants here. And then this is a scavenger hunt. So who knows how to do a scavenger hunt? Me. Yeah, so when you find something, we're gonna check it off our scavenger hunt. And you have three scavenger hunt hunts in your field guide. That one and this one right here. And then a color scavenger hunt. So if you find something in that color, we're gonna we're gonna um, check it off of our scavenger hunt list. And then, guys, do you know what these are? Animal hunts. Animal, Animal um, footprints. Animal footprints. So if we see animal footprints, we can use our field guide to find out what kind of animal walked by there. Isn't that cool? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this one's a so, bear. No. So when name. you're not using your pen, you can clip it onto your little ring. Okay? And then you're just going to carry it like this, and this is your field guide. All right, who's ready to go for a hike? Me! All right, let's go. You got a purple? No. Nope. <gasps> ah! Mike, Michael. What is that? A, is mushroom. More a mushroom. Is there a mushroom on your? I don't think yes. it's, a, it's not a morel, no. But I don't know what kind. Okay, then okay can you mark it off on your? Where's your field guide? Here, buddy. Wait, where did you find it? A mushroom. Right I know there. where it is. I see it. You know where it is? I where's see the? It. There's a mushroom. Can you mark okay. it off on your field guide? Mark you it on. Do we do an X or a check mark? Whatever you want, baby girl. I'm just gonna do an, a check mark. I'm gonna do an X. I don't know what, we have to hide by the snail in the woods. Keep walking, let's see what else we oh, yeah, want. Oh, that was a flower! Purple flowers! Purple flowers, mark off your purple! Purple flowers, oh, is that the color? That's cute, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Brecken, mark off purple. You found purple. I did it. I got three. Wait, where's the purple? Look at the purple flower over there. Oh, that's purple. So circle purple. Wait, I want a circle purple. Okay. You know if you put, you know if you put hairspray on flowers or glass. I don't know. I've never heard that one. Put that back on. All right, there you go, buddy. I circle brown because the pine cone was brown. The pine cone. Good, good job, smart, Charlie. Charlie. Very smart. <laughs> Can I throw some pipe Yeah, and look all the leaves are brown. Yep. Some leaves are brown. But some of them are. I don't know what kind of leaves are. Okay. I'm looking for trails. Me too. Let's find some Ooh. And birds. I mean grass. Grass. What else do we see? Birds. We sound we down at the bottom. Ants. Down at the bottom, there's a brown leaf. We know we saw a brown leaf. Oh, yeah. We saw an ant. And, and today, butterfly. you cannot check off clouds because there's I, no clouds in the sky. I saw I an saw ant. A okay, tree. honey. Check it off. If you saw it, check it off. I saw the ant. Mm -hmm. Then you found brown, <laughs> saw a bug. brown, look, brown yeah. leaves, and next to it is tree bark. Do you see the bark on the tree? Wait, yeah. We never found a bug. You didn't find a bug yet? We'll find I one. I found a butterfly. A a bee. a bee. Oh, we just saw a bee. Oh, yeah. Is bee on your list? That can count as a bug. I'm That's a bug. Great leaves. Me, me, I saw an OD. Wow. Did you, Charlie, sand or dirt? Okay, buddy, I got it. I just found something. We found trees. You want me to help we you? We found rocks. 
bubbles. We need Did we see rock. flowers? We need you. Oh, we found flowers. Did we see water? Did we see a tree? Did we see green leaves? Uh-huh. Did you see a bird today? No bird yet? Did you see tree bark? Did you see tree bark? You know what tree bark is? See the trunk of the tree? Look at look at Mimi. See that big tree right there? The 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 bottom of the tree? It's the wood is called bark. So we saw we saw tree bark. And did we see brown leaves? Look on the ground. I see lots of brown leaves. What honey? Um I I am so glad. You did. Maybe that was just a Maybe. Wait, I just put some leaves on this table. My skin is still on. So overall, our trip was really fun. We had a good time. We learned a lot. The kids loved being outside and enjoying. The weather was so great. It was nice and warm during the day and really cool at night, which made sleeping super, um, well, <laughs> my sister froze her tush off. But uh, we, I enjoy sleeping in the cold, so it was wonderful for me. And it was just a great time, a great family adventure, getting outside, being outside, cooking outside, which was its own adventure. and. We had a great time. I think that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you found that maybe entertaining or interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please make them down below. And while you're down there, I hope you will subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you guys will stick around, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.